The Democratic Party were on full display last night in the second of two presidential debates. The generational divide was front and center, you could say, with younger Democrats finding flaws in the resumes of more established candidates. The front runner in the polls, that's former Vice President Joe Biden, took the brunt of it with Senator Kamala Harris hitting him the hardest. Ed O'Keefe is in Miami where he covered the, the debate. Ed, from where you were sitting, what can you tell us about that moment between Biden and Harris? Well, look, Tony, that exchange came after the vice president's recent comments about working with segregationist senators in the 1970s. It was a heated moment, probably the most memorable of the night. Thursday's Democratic debate sparked plenty of fireworks. Hey, guys, you know what? America does not want to witness a food fight. They want to know how we're going to put food on their table. <laughs> but when the topic shifted to race, the fight became personal. It was hurtful to hear you talk about the reputations of two United States senators who built their reputations and career on the segregation of race in this country. Harris also took aim at Biden's position in the 1970s and 80s when he opposed the federal government's policy of busing to help desegregate schools. There was a little girl in California who was part of the second class to integrate her public schools. And she was bused to school every day. And that little girl was me. If we want to have this campaign litigated on who supports civil rights and whether I did or not, I'm happy to do that. I was a public defender. I didn't become a prosecutor. Do you agree today that you were wrong to oppose busing in America then? No, do you agree? I did not oppose busing in America. What I opposed is busing ordered by the Department of Education. That's what I opposed. Well, I there did was not a oppose. failure of, of states to, to integrate no, public schools in America. Biden, the current front runner, was a popular target. One of the differences that Joe and I have in our record is Joe voted for that war. I helped lead the opposition to that war. Joe Biden was right when he said it was time to pass the torch to a new generation of Americans 32 years ago. I'm still holding on to that torch. Mayor Pete Buttigieg was asked why there isn't more diversity on his South Bend, Indiana police force. Because I couldn't get it done. My community is in anguish right now because of an officer-involved shooting, a black man, Eric Logan, killed by a white officer. And I am determined to bring about a day when a white person driving a vehicle and a black person driving a vehicle, when they see a police officer approaching, feels the exact same yeah. thing. And all the candidates agreed. And the Senator president has inspired. turned the border of the United States into a symbol Senator, of nativist hostility. But the president's immigration so policies have to go. I will release children from cages. I would not be spending money in for-profit prisons have. to lock up children. On day one, we take out our executive order pen and we rescind every damn thing on this issue that Trump has done. Absolutely. Moments after that dramatic exchange between Biden and Harris on race, her campaign tweeted out this picture of her as a little girl, a sign that she had pre-planned the use of that line of attack. And the sparring didn't end there. One senior Biden campaign aide said it was a, quote, low blow for the senator to bring up the former vice president's stance on busing and desegregation. The Harris campaign said it's personal for her and that the vice president should apologize. Anthony. Ed, thank you.